hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to perform image change on button click see like this when i click on this next button the next image is shown like this okay so now let's start with the task okay i have created one another form and i will show you how it works first of all we have created an open form and i am going to put a picture box like this now resize it as large as you want and select choose image i have already selected so that's why and stretch image okay choose image or if you want to bring these images from your on PC then just click on import and select the images from where you want and just click OK for the first uh, picture box I have a image here now select more picture box and see how it works in the same way we select another image and we will select one more p3 after that p4 and just click the stretch image p4 okay now we are done with the four images now what we want a button and what we want to perform whenever we click on button image should be changed for that first we rename it let's see text next okay now here is next and what we want whenever we click on this the image should be changed so if we double click on this button then a click event is generated or else you can go there and mouse click event going to generate it from here too i'm going to click it double on it and what we want initially one picture box should be visible so assume if picture box one this is by default name which is given to the each picture box and uh, the last one picture box is fourth fourth one so let's check what's the name of that here you can see that picture box four this is a design and you can set attribute for that okay picture box one dot visible is equal to is equal to true what we are checking is that if picture box one visibility is true it means that if picture box one is visible then what we want we want that picture box two dot visible is equal to true and rest need to be false like this okay what we want is uh, we want that picture box 3 should be invisible mm, visibility is equal to false after that picture box 4 dot visible is equal to false and lastly picture box 1 dot visibility is equal to also false <laughs> this we can see that when this picture box 1 is visible the rest will be false in the same case for the now what picture box 2 is visible after this case now what picture 2 is visible dot visible is equal to is equal to true then what we want rest to be invisible let's copy this and paste it here 2 is visible now what we want visible and 2 4 and 1 will be invisible 
in the same case what we want here is just check for the three and four is visible and it is invisible right okay now for the last one what we want is four is visible now we want that what one is visible and rest is invisible like this it's a cycle like initially one is visible if one is visible then two should be visible and rest should be declared as invisible then we check the condition if two is visible then make three visible and rest of it invisible in the same way we in the last we have what checked for if four is visible then make first picture box visible and rest of that invisible so that cycle should remain in the flow now let's execute it and check how it works here you can see that it's perfectly working fine so thanks for this video thanks for watching this video please like subscribe and share with your friends and put your comments if you want more videos on this and whatever videos you want on C sharp okay thank you